With the new Instant Storyboard tool and the VO3 upgrade, you can now insert yourself into VO3 and add a voice to any uploaded image. And this way you can also add yourself into the scene. The Instant Storyboard tool allows you to add multiple characters, showcase your product with your corporate identity, build consistent characters and scenes, generate any shot type from any angle and bring characters to life with voice even using your own consistent character designs. In this video, I'll show you plenty of incredible examples and pro tips to help you level up your AI skills. Let's start by explaining how the Instant Storyboard tool works and how you can use it to get the most out of Google VO3. So on the design homepage, we're going to click on the Instant Storyboard here and to upload your image, you have to click in here and then you can drag your image in here. Then I click the add symbol and select image one. Now I will add my astronaut prompt in here and add keywords like muted color palette, shallow depth of field to define the cinematic look. Then I set the output quality to 1080p and hit generate. Now we can click on the AI video tab. Now we have to go to the video model and here we will choose the Google Vio 3 model. Our start frame is already selected and now I will add my prompt in here. And since the new upgrade from Vio 3 allows to make voices with image to video, I've added he says which is a command in Google VO3 used to add a voice to a character. In this video, we didn't get a voice and I chose this image on purpose to show that when using images with intellectual property, the system may censor the result. But that is just a minor limitation. The creative possibilities are endless. And with VO3, you can give almost anything a voice. And let's say you do want to give the astronaut a voice. What's great about using the instant storyboard tool in design is that there are easy workarounds for this. For instance, you can manually add lip sync using the lip sync tool right here. I won't go into that in detail now, since this video is mainly about showing the strength of the instant storyboard with VO3. Now I'll show you how I created the Viking image and turned it into a video. And for this, I used the same prompt. I changed the subject to Swedish Viking and I added close up of in front of the prompt. And then in the video tab, I added this prompt. And to give the man an accent, I added with a raw Swedish accent he says. And then we got this result. Finally, it is possible to create videos of yourself in Wayo 3. And this is amazing. This really looks like me. And the Swedish accent makes it feel even more realistic. If you want, you can also create your own voice using a tool like Eleven Labs with their voice cloning options to make it even more believable. One of the great things about Instant Storyboard is that you can use your own previously created consistent characters and characters which VO3 text to video model struggles with. In a video by my YouTube buddy Tao Prompts, he showed how characters like for example Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars don't look that good with text to video in VO3. But with Instant Storyboard, you can use any image you've created, even with uncensored models, and drop that character into any scene, like here where Jar Jar Binks appears on a street in New York. Or you can let him talk. Thanks to Instant Storyboard, you can give me a voice right inside VO3. Before I show you how I created these two videos, let me show you the power of uploading multiple images in Instant Storyboard. As you can see, I've already uploaded three images. This tool works best when you add the character on a transparent or solid color background. Now for my Ultimate Prompt Toolkit, I'm adding a 19th century London street as the background. Then I've mentioned image one again to mention that he's wearing the hat of image three. And I am very impressed with the result. Yes, it might look a bit silly to have a Viking with a silly hat, but that the instant storyboard can create this kind of images is just amazing. And then you can just put them in VO3 to make a video out of it. Hey, I made me a Viking. Now I fear the Wi-Fi gods. Now I'll show you how I created the shot with myself and the Yeti. For this, I used the text to video tool in VO3 to create this video. Now to make sure that the Yeti stays consistent, I'm going to export the file in the free version of Resolve by clicking file then export, then current frame as still. Then inside of design, I used their powerful background removal tool to add the Yeti on a transparent background. In the instant storyboard tool, make sure to mention the main character first, then the second character, and finally the background image. You could say image one is hugging image two, but I've had much better results by simply writing are hugging each other. I also added is looking and smiling into the camera to make sure the character doesn't look away and included close up so the face clearly resembles me. I've noticed that the smaller the face is, the less it tends to look like you. And I'm just blown away by the result. The Yeti really looks consistent and the character just really looks like me. And then in the AI video tab, I selected Google VO3 and you can see that the image is already automatically selected. And I used the same prompt as from the image and added 
Sunlight casts a warm glow from the left, plus the Yeti faces the camera and says, And this way you can also add yourself into the scene. And the result is just amazing. We both look very consistent and realistic. And look at the sunlight at the back shining through the hair. It's just amazing. The only thing what I would say is like my teeth are a bit plasticky. For the rest, it's just a very good shot. Let's take a look at how you can present a product or an outfit with a consistent character. So let's say this is your model, either an AI model or a realistic one, and you want her to wear this green sweater, then make sure that your main character is on a solid background and that you mention her as the first. Then the second thing you should mention is the sweater, and the third thing you should mention is the background. And also I would add fashion photography with muted colors to give it this professional photo shooting look. Because if you don't add it, your image will probably look like this one on the right. And if you compare that to the one on the left, the left one looks so much better. You can clearly see that this image looks proper like fashion photography. Let's continue with the product promotion. If you want your image to look polished like the one on the right, here's the structure to follow. In image box 2, I placed our product and in box 3, the t-shirt. As mentioned before, always begin your prompt with the main character. Then describe the setting, the action and what they're promoting. I also included that the small black shaker features the same logo as in image 2. And to get the professional look, I've added aesthetically pleasing home, the character is looking straight into the camera and then I've added smiling close-up shot and warm deep cinematic colors. Then in the AI video tab, I've added the prompt the man is promoting the new digital magic drink and he says, One sip of this shake and even your AI starts thinking faster. I'm honestly impressed by the overall quality. The lighting feels like it's coming from a real studio setup and the image is super sharp. The only slight issues are the teeth, which could be better, and the sound effects, which aren't perfectly synced, but all in all, it's a really strong result. Our blog post, linked in the description, includes a complete guide on how we created the product and the t-shirt with the digital magic logo. It also has all the text to image prompts which I didn't show in the video. Now we're getting to the most exciting part because with all the techniques we've covered so far, the only thing missing is making sure the scenery looks consistent and that we can create any shot type we want. So here on the right side, we can see the image we've created with the fashion photography style and the muted colors. So I've added this into the first image box and then I asked, can you show me a full body shot of the woman in the snow? Same color grade and lighting from image one. Let's create two more shots first and then we'll compare everything to see if they all work well together. So for the second shot, I asked for a bird's eye view of the woman sitting on a big rock in the snow. And for the third shot, I asked for an extreme high angle aerial shot of the mountains. I'm honestly blown away by how well these shots fit together. It all looks like it came from the same shoot. The muted colors with a slight purple haze are consistent across every shot, which makes storytelling so much easier. I also tested all the shot types from my Ultimate Prompt Toolkit and Instant Storyboard handled 99% of them perfectly. You can download the shot type PDF for free from the blog post I mentioned earlier. Big thanks to Design, which is the sponsor of this video. You'll find the link in the description if you want to check out their amazing Instant Storyboard tool.